The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. More than 30 prophecies in your Bible refer to the mysterious day of the Lord. What is the day of the Lord? Will you be protected during this prophetic time of judgment on the nations? The book of Revelation in your Bible introduces the day of the Lord with dramatic cosmic disturbances. Let's read this account in Revelation 6, verse 12. Revelation 6, verses 12 through 14. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. God will get the attention of everyone on the face of the earth when the prophetic day of the Lord begins. In fact, it's called the great day of His wrath in Revelation 6, verse 17. During this prophetic time period of judgment, seven trumpets introduce powerful environmental and military events. The first trumpet announces vast destruction of Earth's vegetation. It states in Revelation 8, verse 7, The first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burned up. The second trumpet blast announces deadly developments in the oceans of the world. Revelation 8, verse 8. Then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. What else will happen during this dramatic day of the Lord? Will you be able to survive this convulsive and dangerous time period? You need to know the answers to these questions. An exciting and revealing audio CD titled The Day of the Lord will give you amazing insight into these future events from the pages of your Bible. Be sure to request your free copy. The prophetic day of the Lord will prepare all nations on earth for the greatest and the most encouraging event in modern history, the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. My friends, you need to understand the mystery of this dramatic time period that will affect every human being on earth. It's called the Day of the Lord. Stay tuned. Warm greetings to all our friends around the world. Most of you who read the Bible know that we're living in the prophetic end times. Bible prophecy reveals the future of the world and the end of this age. One of the most mysterious prophetic events is the time period known as the Day of the Lord. More than 30 prophecies in your Bible describe the amazing events during this time period, which lasts for about one year, as we'll see later in the program. What is the day of the Lord? Does it give us hope for the future? You need to know the future and the prophesied day of the Lord. Beyond the day of the Lord lies the coming kingdom of God. But in the meantime, most of us realize the dangerous times in which we live. The world continues to arm itself militarily. China continues to develop a modern technologically advanced navy and ballistic missiles. The world also faces nuclear danger. In January 2016, North Korea claimed to have tested a nuclear hydrogen bomb for the first time. Nine nations possess nuclear weapons. The United States, Russia, China, France, Israel, the United Kingdom, India, Pakistan, and North Korea, and several more have been working diligently to gain nuclear capability. Will nuclear weapons be used once again? The day of the Lord revealed in your Bible includes descriptions of World War III. 
The book of Revelation predicts the destruction of one-fourth of the world's population in the early phases of what is called the Great Tribulation. If you have your Bible, turn to Revelation, the sixth chapter. Here, the famous four horsemen of the apocalypse intensify their end-time ride. The white horse represents false religion and false Christs. The red horse represents war, violence, and death. The black horse represents the scarcity of food and famine. And the pale horse represents pestilence and disease. Now notice the effect that the four of them have on earth's population. Revelation 6, verse 8. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. My friends, any glance at world history should teach us after two world wars and many regional wars since that we are headed for total global disaster. Jesus warned of a coming cataclysm that would be unique in all history. He stated in Matthew 24, verse 21, For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. We thank God that He will put an end to mankind's madness in killing one another. Revelation, the sixth chapter, reveals the sequence of end time events. A great false church will intensify its persecution against true Christians. The fifth seal of Revelation, as you read in Revelation 6, verse 9, reveals a martyrdom of Christians during the tribulation period of about two and one half years. Then we read about the sixth seal, which introduces the time of God's wrath and judgment on the nations. The sixth seal is referred to as the heavenly signs. Revelation 6, verse 12. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. These heavenly signs, as they're called, introduce the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is the time of God's wrath and judgment on an unthankful, rebellious world. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, will be wrathful. He will execute God's righteous judgments. The day of the Lord, here in Revelation 6, verse 17, is called the great day of His wrath. The day of the Lord will bring God's judgments on the nations. Let's understand. There are three prophetic milestones leading up to Christ's return. They are, one, the great tribulation, two, the heavenly signs, and three, the day of the Lord. These three events cover a period of about three and one half years. There are over 30 prophecies in your Bible referring to the day of the Lord. Isaiah 34, 8 and Isaiah 63, 4 show that the day of the Lord in end time prophecy, the time preceding the second coming, is a period of one year. You might want to write down those references, Isaiah 34, 8 and Isaiah 63, 4. Seven symbolic trumpet plagues, as they are called, reveal amazing future signs and events leading up to the return of Jesus Christ as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What are those future events? We'll answer that question in the next part of the program. But first, I'd like to offer you this exciting free audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. Over 30 prophecies in the Bible reveal future events in the prophetic time period called The Day of the Lord. The book of Revelation or the Apocalypse in your Bible particularly gives details of this dramatic and prophetic time. Many of you will be alive during the soon coming day of the Lord. You will need God's protection. My friends, you need to know the future and what impact the day of the Lord will have on your life. Just what is the day of the Lord? How can you be protected during the day of the Lord? Our free audio CD will give you the answers from your Bible. It will help you in your study of Bible prophecy in your own time and at your own convenience. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. You can also order your free audio CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. 
For today's free informative offer, send your request to Tomorrow's World, P.O. Box 3800, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28227. Or call this toll-free number, 1-800-236-0531. That number again is 1-800-236-0531. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World, call now. The Day of the Lord mystery is revealed in the book of Revelation in your Bible. A major key to understanding the book of Revelation is that there are seven seals, seven trumpet events, and the seven last plagues. Simply stated, as you can see on this chart, the seventh seal consists of seven trumpet events. The seventh trumpet consists of the seven last plagues, including the final battle between good and evil, referred to as Armageddon. Now let's read again what happens just before the seventh seal is open. Remember that the seventh seal represents the day of the Lord and in the primary sense lasts one year as we saw earlier in the program. The sixth seal introduces the day of the Lord. This is very important. Let's read that again in Revelation the sixth chapter. The sixth seal consists of the heavenly signs or cosmic disturbances. How will the people all over the world react? How will you react, my friends? Revelation 6, verse 15. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Yes, the great day of God's wrath has come. This one year period of time, the day of the Lord, is the time of God's judgment on the nations. The Lamb, Jesus Christ, will be wrathful. Why? Because the nations have committed oppression, wickedness, and all kinds of evils. Let's understand. The seventh seal consists of seven major prophetic events introduced by trumpets. Let's notice that in Revelation 8, verse 1. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. These are also called the seven trumpet plagues. They comprise the one-year day of the Lord leading up to the second coming. The Apostle John writes about the first four trumpets in Revelation 8, verse 7 through 12. They described incredible ecological disaster. One third of all trees are burned up, and all green grass is burned up. One third of all living creatures in the sea die. One third of ocean going ships are destroyed. One third of rivers and springs become poisonous. One third of the sun, moon, and stars become darkened. What else happens during the day of the Lord? Remember that during the day of the Lord, seven trumpets sound and announce God's judgments on the nations. Turn in your Bible to Revelation 8 and verse 13. At this point in time, four of the seven trumpets have sounded. Three trumpet plagues remain. Revelation 8, verse 13. The Apostle John writes what he sees and hears in vision. And I looked, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the remaining blasts of the trumpet of the three angels who are about to sound. The last three trumpet plagues are called woes. The word woe is an exclamation of grief. The first woe, or the fifth trumpet plague, is described in chapter 9. The fifth angel sounds a trumpet that begins a military action that lasts five months. And what power supports that military action? Revelation 9, verse 11. And they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Apollyon. 
Yes, the destroyer, Satan the devil, gives power to this military force. The second woe, or the sixth trumpet plague, is pictured with symbols of horses and horsemen. Here we see an intense military counterattack. Revelation 9, verse 12. One woe is past. Behold, still two more woes are coming after these things. Then the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. An army of 200 million drives west across the Euphrates River and destroys one-third of the earth's population. Revelation 9, verse 15. So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year were released to kill a third of mankind. Now the number of the army of the horsemen was 200 million. The apostle John writes, I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three plagues a third of mankind was killed, by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. This phase of World War III will kill billions of people. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 22, that unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. Otherwise, all life on earth would be destroyed. Thank God, those days will be shortened. The good news is that God will save mankind from himself. Now, what happens when the seventh trumpet sounds? And what happens after the day of the Lord? We'll answer those questions in the conclusion of our program. But first, I'd like to offer you our exciting free audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. Over 30 prophecies in your Bible reveal future events in the prophetic time period called the Day of the Lord. This event will affect your life and the life of everyone on earth. You need to understand the prophetic events leading up to the Day of the Lord and prepare for it with God's help. This free audio CD will help you identify the prophetic signs, some of which are right now being fulfilled before your very eyes. You need this information. This exciting audio CD will give you prophetic details about your future and the future of the world. Request your exciting audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. Call now. Today's offer is yours absolutely free. No cost, no obligation. Visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. Find us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. As we've seen on today's program, we need to watch world events in the light of Bible prophecy. We need to be prepared for the times ahead. We've briefly discussed six of the seven trumpet events that comprise the day of the Lord. The sounding of the final seventh trumpet is good news genuine Christians long to hear. You can read about that in Revelation 11, verse 15. It announces the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth and the return of Jesus Christ. At this last trumpet, faithful Christians waiting in their graves are resurrected. You can read about that in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. My friends, you need to be preparing for that time, and you need to study the prophecies of your Bible. Be sure to request your free audio CD on the day of the Lord. It will give you more understanding of Bible prophecy. The seventh trumpet announces the good news of Christ's takeover of world governments. But the seventh trumpet is also called the third woe. Why? Because it also signals the seven last plagues. The sixth of those plagues sets the stage for what is known as Armageddon. A massive combination of the world's military power and might gather in northern Israel on the plain of Jezreel near Megiddo. These armies will actually fight against the commander of heaven's armies, Jesus Christ. Turn in your Bible to Revelation 19. Revelation 19, 11, the apostle John writes, Now I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he who sat on him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. The apostle John is describing the Messiah, Jesus Christ. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. 
He had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. How many of us desire world peace? Thank God that the King of kings will conquer the forces of evil and establish lasting world peace. We rejoice in the prophecy of Isaiah. Those who are familiar with Handel's Oratorio of the Messiah know the magnificent words of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, starting in verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. My friends, Jesus Christ will establish world government for the benefit of all peoples and all nations. Seven prophetic trumpet events precede the second coming of the Messiah. That one year period of time is called the day of the Lord in its primary fulfillment. But the day of the Lord continues on through the millennium and beyond. What will the millennium be like? And what will be the ultimate fulfillment of the day of the Lord? We'll answer those questions in the conclusion of our program. But first I'd like to offer you this free audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. As we've seen in today's program, the book of Revelation or the Apocalypse in your Bible gives details of this dramatic and prophetic time. There are seven trumpet events that signify ecological and military judgments on the nations. You need to prepare for this soon coming day of the Lord. This free audio CD will give you more prophetic details than we have time for on this program. You need this comprehensive and informative audio CD. It will help you in your study of Bible prophecy, in your own time, and at your own convenience. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD titled, The Day of the Lord. You can also order your free audio CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org or you can write to us at one of our regional addresses. For today's free informative offer, send your request to Tomorrow's World, P.O. Box 3800, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28227. Or call this toll-free number, 1-800-236-236. 0531. That number again is 1 800 236 0531. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World, call now. On today's program, we've seen the sequence of prophetic events leading up to the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. After the two and one half years of the Great Tribulation, the heavenly signs introduced the year-long day of the Lord. Seven prophetic trumpet events include ecological disruption of the planet and military invasions that constitute the initial phases of World War III. The King of Kings will establish His world government and teach the nations how to live in peace. Multiple chapters in your Bible describe the world of peace called the Millennium when the environment will be restored to beauty and productivity. The prophet Isaiah gives us this vision of the future. The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. For waters shall burst forth in the wilderness, the parched ground shall become a pool, 
and the thirsty land springs of water. We look forward to that day and beyond. God's plan for all peoples continues beyond the millennium in the white throne judgment described in Revelation 20, verses 11 and 12. Eventually, when everyone has had the opportunity for salvation to be a part of God's spiritual family, the earth will be purified by fire. If you have your Bible, turn to 2 Peter 3, verse 10. 2 Peter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. We look forward to the glorious new heavens and new earth. In the meantime, the Apostle Peter exhorts us to be in a spiritual state of readiness. We must be alert to the day of the Lord, a sobering period of time in the judgment of nations. Beyond that lies tomorrow's world, a wonderful time with beauty, prosperity, and restoration under the rulership of Christ. Thank God His world-ruling kingdom is coming to bring world peace and prosperity for all peoples. Many of you will be alive during the soon coming day of the Lord. Will you be able to survive this convulsive and dangerous time period? For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. My friends, you need to know the future, and you need to be preparing for that time. This free audio CD will help you identify the prophetic signs leading up to Christ's return. You need this information. Be sure to request your free audio CD, The Day of the Lord. This inspiring audio CD will give you much more vital information than we've had time for on this program. Be sure to request your free copy. We invite you to join us every week on Tomorrow's World or watch us online at any time. As these end time prophecies come to pass, you need the encouragement, faith, and truth that come from your Bible. Gerald Weston, Wallace Smith, and I will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ, the good news of the coming kingdom of God, and the exciting end time prophecies and their meaning. So be sure to join us again next week right here at this same time. To view the Tomorrow's World telecast or request today's free offer, visit us online at tomorrowsworld.org. Remember to find us on Facebook and be sure to follow us on Twitter. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.